know it. You know it, oh boy. Thank you very much. Yeah, for sure. And Thank your name you. is Jake Jake. Yeah. That's a cool name. Right on. Thanks, That's man. awesome. <laughs> so we want you want to kind of center yourself on the on the platform. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can you can see it. Nice and spread. Oh my god, I'm blind. <laughs> okay. For sure, brother. Thank you, Jigs. Yeah, man. Jigs love. Yeah, you got it. Hey there, internet. So here I am at BRLA. I'm here with my good friends Genevieve, Hi. Alexandra. I actually met Genevieve at BRLA last year. If you go back, our it's our one year anniversary meeting. Yeah. If you go back on the YouTube, you can find that. Yeah. Co correction, yeah. not Alexandra, Alex. That's right. Only if sure you know get it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't step into me or me and you don't know me. <laughs> so, ben and Alex. Uh, hi. And we're at VRLA 2018. Uh, There's so many 360 cameras. If you look over there, he's got one. So right now, we're in a projection. If you look above you, you can see what is that? Six projectors? Oh, yeah. Um, and so, this is a way to have a shared 360 experience. How cute is that? Yeah, it's so, really you and your friends can hang out. We're in this. Yeah. I see. Hey, cycle runway. So it works sideways as well as forward because it's omnidirectional. Okay, now this is what I want to try. Backward. Okay, we're running. We're running. Da -na -na. <laughs> Genevieve is about to try this tracking where you can walk all around. What's it called? Uh, anti latency. I saw that look back. Um, look at the little camera that's on there. Yeah, so these are, this is what they're selling. Sweet. How much does it go for? I believe they're $1,000 per. Uh, tracker, but then it's uh, by square foot, it's $25 a square foot, or the little radars are $100. Sweet. And then you can put any gaming system or whatever technology, interior design technology. Can you see people in front of you? So you can see here, she's doing amazing motion capture work. Do like a woo! Can I get, can I get two hands up? On energy this morning. I like that. How about you jump in there? So this is pretty legit. Um, I don't know. What do you think compared to the igloo? I feel like it's like oh, echo. Echo. It's, yeah. This it feels much more like a Merse, I think, from the front. But I kind of like the fact that the igloo is like all the way around. Like, yeah. Whereas totally. this is only really like a half. Yeah, like I like having this stuff on the ceiling, but I like the view being all around you. But the real thing that throws me off of this is you can see the line. And the line, the seam line really, really takes me out of it because it's pretty, it's pretty noticeable. Maybe if I was further back or something, I don't know. It's kind of psychedelic. It just make my eyes go a bit like, oh. It's really cool for music festivals. Yeah. Trippy, mold. trippy, trippy stuff. No, you don't need <laughs> Alright, I'm about to try out the classroom of the future. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Do I just put it on and I'm good yeah, to go? Yeah, go for it. Is everyone else in this virtual yeah, so space? You oh, sorry. Bye Whoa, there. how'd you get up there? I'm sorry. What'd you do? Oh my goodness. Standing on the Well, I'm doing that now too. <laughs> We're here at Camp 5, Voice of VR. Hi there. Amazing podcast. Genevieve's been a long time listener and was like, we need to meet him. He's the major celebrity here. Um, we just did this experience together, the future classroom. In two sentences, what did you think? Well, Intel, it's using Project Samsar, so it's like trying to imagine what education is going to look like in the future. And so it's equivalent of being like at a museum and seeing a docent giving you a guided tour. And I feel like 
that's one dimension of the future of classroom is storytelling. Yeah. But there's other dimensions of interactivity and you know constructing your own, you know, being able to play with things, interact with things. I wish I could like pick up like that skull purse thing that they had and like yeah. really look around. And it still felt like you were in an environment like a museum and you don't touch anything. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like when I uh, the Exploratorium in San Francisco is a good example of a, a, a place that is just invites Tactile. you to really just like experiment and play and interact and it, I think that's actually the, the classroom of the future is that level of interactivity. Yeah, totally. so I just went to see the war last week oh, and that was something yeah. just picked up everything. There's candy in the little candy place. Yeah, you can eat the candy. Yeah. You can really touch it. Besides the actors and even then, you can really touch so much. Uh, so this is the part of Coachella show we've done two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So this is the theme. Thank you. Very much. What's it called? Yes. What's um, it called? Uh, what is it no. Best? What's your? Kevin. <laughs> so legit. The one thing that always gets me about these places is the echo. Yeah. It, it will never end in trip out. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. He's trapping me in here. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> All right. Are we good? It's a little big. That's really cool. Two thumbs up. If I could do two. Whoa. All right. Getting a little dizzy.